Many uh, ardent fans of Safari Live will realise and know I am an exceptional artist, am I not, David? Indeed. Yes, I am, and so I'm going to take these uh, six pens that I have in my hand, and I'm going to show you something about the low felt. Now, we often talk about the low felt, and I think many people have no idea what we're talking about. Why would you? It's an Afrikaans word, and the geography of South Africa is not entirely familiar to everybody. So have a look here. I'm going to draw it for you. Here we have the high felt, or those mountains that you can see in the west. Well, basically it does that sort of thing. Those are the mountains in the west, and they go down into the low felt like this. And they go along the plains, a sort of flat, gently undulating topography. And then up a little hump called the Labombos and off into Mozambique. So this is west over there. North is boring down into the middle of the picture. And there is east. Now, so far, so good, David. Do you see? Like it. Right. I'm going to write a label here. D-Berg or Drakensberg. Right? And here, Lebombo for the mountains there. Now, you heard Brent mentioning them earlier on today. He talked about the Lobombo Mountains and the fact that Singita Lobombo, where he used to work, was over there. Now, we have different kinds. So this is the low felt. Low felt meaning low, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Felt meaning land. And at low felt, we sit at about 450 meters above sea level, which multiplied by 3.3 .3 takes us to roughly 1,200 or s no, f say 1,600 uh, feet above sea level. Okay, now all the way up here on the mountains, we probably go almost as high as 2,000 meters in some places, but I'm going to say roughly 1,800 meters above sea level on average in the mountains. 1,800 meters multiplied by 3, much too difficult, 36 is 72, so rough, call it 8,000 feet above sea level. Okay, roughly 8,000 feet above sea level. So you can see there's a massive drop off down here and it's pretty flat, gently undulating topography, a little hump there, the Lobombos, and basically then we go into Mozambique to the east. And this is largely what we call basalt. That's the gen general uh, un underlying geology there. This is largely granite over here, where we are. I must check this. I'm pretty sure this is true. And uh, these, the Lobombos, are something called rhyolite. There are obviously lots and lots of other different kinds of rock underlying the low felt and that sort of thing. But that's a basic idea of what you have out here. Brilliant, don't you? I think it's my best map yet, well, mainly good. because there's only one actual line in it. I hope you've enjoyed our time in the tent today. We've had a wonderful time with the rover. Thank you.